What's up, what's up YouTube? Welcome to another Man 21 video. Today I'm going to show you guys who watch my videos how to make coins on Man 21. So first we're gonna start at solo challenges and solo battles head to head, right? These are modes that you can play whenever and wherever. And they're pretty easy to make coins on. Um, you can play these for a decent bit. You can make 44,000 a week off of solo battles when they're up so that, that'll probably start on Monday so challenges there's a decent bit out now right now to do you can definitely make coins off of these there's a lot of stars to be obtained as well you can get master stats so these are very helpful we're gonna also look at head to head seasons head to head seasons is a, uh, another good one you can also get trophies from that and getting trophies is very important for season one or series one um, store you can buy packs you can get elite players and uh, you can make some decent coins off of wins on here right now when we look at rewards I'm getting you get about two two thousand seven hundred per win right now at the lowest rank and uh, it's actually a really good return for the time but personally probably the best way right now is to not only work the market and look for cheap players but you can also go into draft and if you're an online draft player and you like to do that and you're good at it then that's very good but if you're if you're more casual you want to sit back and chill you could uh, play solo draft solo drafts as you can see right now it has six games against the computer but it does cost 9,000 coins to enter but if you win all six which the computer is not too difficult to beat you not only get 18,000 coins you get three Hail Mary packs and you get a choice on midfield pack or 10k quick sell you get two of those and on that you would want to uh, if you want to open the pack you can but you turn 9k into 18,000 plus 20,000 that's 38,000 that's almost a 30,000 coin return on investment to say and then you get the Hail Mary packs and you can get some silvers maybe even, maybe even golds that go into these team diamonds that start worth a good bit you see here I'm gonna enter one now show you what the draft really looks like that's your pretty much your standard draft normal you select the coach and you get the playbooks that go with them I'm gonna select the Cardinals this year drafts are they're they're usually like this they're gonna start off a little weaker you're gonna see these these good cards right these are good cards but as the year goes on and on you're gonna see the cards get better you're gonna see 90 overalls in every draft you're gonna see 99 overalls but right now you're kinda kinda limited on how good the teams are but a part of these drafts that a lot of people don't think about is just how easy these are like look right here I got Tyreek Hill but the main thing I'm talking about is not only can you get these cards that are all elites right see here George Kittle as well another really good card we're gonna turn all of these these cards in to our team and we're gonna face teams full of bronzes and silvers and there's gonna be a few golds that are not really that good right so you I mean it really doesn't matter who I take here I mean DJ Humphreys a little better run blocker so we can take him but in reality these games really aren't that difficult that's why this is a preferred method of mine right you're gonna come into these games you're gonna get relatively easy easy opponents that are not up to the standards of your team right you see here I haven't gotten a single round where it's not an elite right these elites are pretty good as well Let's see we're gonna get 84 Chris Harris as well get some receivers to go along with Tyree Hill I get a good running background with Dalvin Cook and just like that this draft is looking really well right now I'm gonna get Jonu Smith who's actually a really good card if you guys don't have him I mean he's pretty budget and he's uh he's pretty good in the game 
go around out this draft. We're going to get Miles Garrett here. Probably slide one of them to defensive tackle. Then right here you see Bobby Wagner. Really good card to have. And then, like, look how good it is, guys. This draft is amazing right now. Getting all these good cards that we can use into our team, right? And you're still, like I said before, you're still not going to face that great of a team every round. See here, we finish it off with the legend round. We're going to take Keenan McCardell. Oh, we actually get another. And uh, this uh, this Frank Minifield, really good card. Mainly because of how good man is right now compared to zone. But we're going to round it off like that. E3 overall team, right? And then you can you can obviously run this. This maybe take 15, 20 minutes per game, and you're gonna end, end up turning 9,000 coins into 20,000 or 30,000 coins really. And then obviously, the packs that go along through Hail Marys could get something that's worth something there. Um, you don't gain trophies unfortunately, but it's still a very good method in my opinion. I do believe that um, there's a uh, all pro fancy packs. These packs are actually really good. Um, I'll open one now to show you guys, but there's been so many good cards coming out of these pro fancy packs that were here now all pro fancies. They they've just been rewarding guys, you gotta I think you have to look at opening some of these See right here, you get a super. We get a superstar MVP. That's not really a good one. So now they don't want to give anything. Now that I'm opening them, um, probably just gonna take the two highest overalls. See right here, rookie cards, rookie card silvers. Turn these silvers into hopefully power ups through uh, exchanges. But this uh, was not a great example of pack. But I've seen multiple. Two of my friends. They've pulled Patrick Mahomes out of them. I pulled Drew Brees out of one of them. 85 overall Drew Brees. And they just give out. I mean, it's not going to guarantee you coins back every time like that one. Of course, it had to happen when I'm recording, right? But overall, they do pay out. There's a reason it's only limited to 10 or else we'd all be opening these and crashing the market with how good they've been. But uh, this is going to be the coin making method video i hope you all enjoyed make sure you hit the like button and subscribe even comment down below what your favorite coin making method has been and i'll see you guys next time